This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. No, not this time. It's a birthday girl. The birthday girl is a legend in the basketball world. Um, and she is an analyst. She works for NBA TV as a reporter and analyst. She was a sideline reporter for the NBA on TNT. She used to work for ABC TV as an ESPN before and also becoming head coach of the Phoenix Mercury in the WNBA. She's been to the New Smith Basketball Hall of Fame since 1995. She was inducted in 2010 to the International Basketball Hall of Fame. And she's actually known for being the sister of Reggie Miller. That's right, it's Cheryl. Cheryl Miller, who's now 60 years old today. So Cheryl Miller was an icon at Riverside Polytechnic High School, where she helped her team only lose four times out of 136 games. She was the National High School Scholar Athlete of the Year in 1981, and was named Parade Magazine's All-American in Basketball four times, becoming the first player, male or female, to do so. Anyway, Cheryl Miller is a fantastic player. She set some California records. And at six foot two, she knew she could do something. And they did. They actually decided to. Well, she decided to go to the University of Southern California, or USC for short, and was a forward. She played all four years for. SC and scored over 3,000 points. It was a four time All American. She was third all time in rebounding with 1,534 of them. She was actually the Naismith Player of the Year three times. And at USC, she did help the Trojans win the 83 and 84 NCAA championships. She has some great. She had Cynthia Cooper, who was a two-time WNBA MVP. Pamela and Paula McGee, the McGee twins, were Olympians. She looked pretty good. She still holds a lot of USC records to this day. Including points and rebounds. She was nominated for the Sullivan Award in 1986 for Best Amateur Athlete, didn't win, but anyway, USC decided to give her the ultimate honor by retiring her 31. We give her the first retired jersey of any player at USC. She did coach USC for a little bit of time, for a few years. She did um, help USC make the NCAA tournament both seasons she was coached, making a regional final once, but not winning. So yeah, so Cheryl Miller averaged 23.6 points per game in college. She was an icon for USA basketball. She even took part in the world championships in Brazil, still in college and all that. Anyway, she did take part in a gold medal team in 84 in Los Angeles in part of the Goodwill Games and took part in the 1986 National Championship, finally winning the national title. I mean, finally winning the international title. She was drafted by several pro basketball leagues, including the U.S. Basketball League, under graduate from USC. Unfortunately, those, the injuries would prevent her from continuing her playing career. So she would end up being an assistant coach and then a sportscaster. She coached four seasons for Phoenix at the WNBA, and got them to the finals in 98. 
She spent a couple seasons being women's basketball coach at lower universities. <laughs> But Nebraska's career was amazing. She was a sideline reporter for the NBA on TNT's Thursday night coverage. Part of NBA TV for a while. So, she was actually in video game, in 2K Sports, NBA 2K series, as a sideline reporter for years and all that. She would leave Turner after her 2013 contract expired. She would call a few things, and she was part of NBC's Olympic coverage by being a women's basketball analyst and a men's basketball reporter. Oh, I actually worked for NBC slash ESPN for six years. So yeah, so she's part of Turner. She was a part of Turner. Now she's part of NBA TV. All that. She won a lot of great awards in her career. And it was funny, that Seinfeld episode, I don't know which one it was, but Elaine references her. I think it's some basketball thing with Reggie Miller. And Elaine quips, Cheryl's brother plays basketball? I mean, well, obviously she would know who Cheryl Miller is. And Cheryl Miller was just this great basketball player who was, you know, the Rebecca Lobo of her time, if you will. I know it's a little dated in my mind, but I'm saying it because... I don't know who the superstar woman is basketball player. Aja Wilson, maybe? But regardless, Cheryl Miller was just fantastic. And if she was a pro after leaving USC and not, not having injuries, she would be basically the dominant force of women's basketball. And you can take that to the bank. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.